In this video, we're going to be studying bond length and bond strength, specifically as it relates to bond order. Bond length is exactly what you would expect, simply the distance of the bond, or the length of the bond. The distance between the two nuclei of bonded atoms. That could be easily illustrated here. One atom bonded to a second atom, and the distance between the two nuclei, well, that's the bond length. Bond strength. Another name for bond strength is bond energy. Um, and typically, it's actually referred to as bond energy. Bond energy is the energy required to break a bond. Notice that in order for a bond to be broken, energy is required. This is a misconception sometimes for students. We're going to look at breaking a bond and forming a bond. Think about breaking a bond almost like separating two magnets. To separate those two magnets, it would require energy. Conversely, uh, when forming a bond, that's like two magnets coming together. They might slam into one another, releasing energy. So breaking a bond requires energy. That's endothermic. The formation of a bond releases energy. That's called exothermic. Bond length and bond strength are related to bond order. So let's take a look. Bond order, bond length, and bond energy. Let's look at bond order. This is a first order bond, a second order bond, and a third order bond. So single bond, double bond, triple bond. Let's look at what happens with the bond length. We go from 154 to 134 to 120. So as bond order increases, bond length decreases. That type of relationship is called inverse. When one thing gets bigger and the other thing gets smaller, that's called inverse. Now let's compare bond order with bond energy. Well, bond energy goes from 346 to 610 to 835. So when bond order increases, bond energy also increases. So a single bond is stronger than a double bond. I'm sorry, a double bond is stronger than a single bond, and a triple bond is stronger than a double bond. So as bond order gets larger, bond energy also gets larger. That type of relationship is called direct. When one thing gets large and the other thing gets large, that's a direct relationship.